morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Turtley Wild. Uh, we're at our aquatics greenhouse here. This is all pure Ambo Anensis. Same one right there. And today, we're not talking about that cure. We're talking about a different cure. So today, we're going to be talking about pure pan eye. And we have two um, rather old wild caught adult pair. Um, these were brought into the country back 2004, 2005, I guess, somewhere around there. One of the last shipments of these guys to ever come in, and they've switched hands multiple times. And then we have uh, ended up with them. Now, this uh, species of cura is one of the more aquatic species, right? So you've got Aricapitata, Trifasciata, <clears throat> Unanensis. Some of these other species that are very aquatic. Um, the McCord's not so much. And then, of course, you got like the terrestrial Mahatiai and Galminophrons. But this species here is highly aquatic. They're going to spend probably more than 90% of their time in the water, at least in captivity. Now, in the wild, we really don't know. This species was described in the early 80s by a scientist who found two in the wild, and, and that's it. Those first two where this species was described, really the only two that we have scientific um, evidence of them being found in the wild, actually GPS points and a location for them. The rest of these animals that we've ever seen have all been from the pet trade. So local people that have collected them. So that, that's the issue, right? Here's a species. We don't know anything about them in the wild. We know that they're extremely rare. We don't really see wild caught these animals being reported much if at all in China so the question remains what is their status in the wild population now these are from kind of central China Chengdu uh, Sichuan Henan Hubei Gansu and uh, Shanxi and these are going to be adult size like this is about the average size for this species um, in some areas, they can get larger. Supposedly, the ones in Sichuan, up to over three pounds. He must move up to three pounds, and they can lay up to twelve eggs a clutch. Whereas some of the, well, that's the southern part, I guess, it's not, they don't have a big range. It's just in the kind of Qing Mountain range where all those provinces meet. But then they say the Hubei animals uh, are smaller, more like this, and may lay, you know, seven, eight, nine eggs in a clutch. So there are some differences, but that's the interesting. We don't know. We don't know when that's just what we hear. Is that really an ecological difference from the different localities or, or not? So here's the female. She is very shy. She does not like to come out much. But she has this nice solid black plaster on. A lot of times they'll be broken up. Um, they'll have like blotches or squares of black with some yellow in there as well. But the female um, is larger sexual dimorphism, which you see in a lot of aquatic uh, flora. And then the male here, as you can see, he is smaller. And it's just how a lot of these uh, cure species are. He's a little bit smaller. But you can see he has the typical pattern there, more typical what you see with those yellow blotches on the black plaster. And we have them in this small enclosure. And that's because this is a temporary enclosure. They're building our temperate greenhouse, and we're going to have a bigger um, tub to put them in, much larger, with some flowing water, make it more natural. They really they like those fast-moving mountain streams. And also for this species, they do like to hibernate. So you're looking at October to April. That's what my friends in uh, Sichuan who have these that breed them, you're looking at. October they go down to April so almost five six months where they are dormant and you have to cycle them you've got to get them to hibernate or they will not breed so these didn't hibernate this winter they've been in this greenhouse that's why we want to move them to the subtropical greenhouse so hopefully in the following year next year we can get some eggs all right so that's the introduction just the basic introduction next time we'll talk more about care this is just a little bit of introduction I hope you enjoyed it and yeah I look forward to sharing with sharing with y'all more about your pan eye. This is my probably my favorite cure species, other than maybe Japanese, but aquatic definitely is the pan eye. 
All right, y'all have a good one.